right, so today we're gonna go over the outside or external parts of a goat. I'm going to give a disclaimer. I don't know if this goat's ever been haltered before, and she just basically tried to kill me when we haltered them. Um, and the high school kids, if the camera's shaking, are trying not to laugh at me because I about got super embarrassed by uh, by this goat. <clears throat> so, if she uh, attempts to get away and she actually gets away and I look super embarrassed, uh, ha ha ha, we'll make a blooper reel later. Anyhow, external parts to go. So, we've got the head up here. The top part of their head right in here would be considered the pole. Goats that have horns, their horns are going to be growing out right here, kind of between the pole and where their ear is located. This would be the ear. Goats have several different kinds of ear styles. In this case, this goat has a long floppy ear. Sometimes they can have short pointy ears. They can have little elfy ears if they're a crossbred. And if they're a La Mancha, they actually have no exterior or outside parts of their ear. We didn't cut them off. They're born that way, okay? We have the eye. We have the bridge of the nose. We have the nostril down here. And then we have the lips. Hello, people. Um, underneath, we've got the chin. And then we get into here, we got the neck. We've got the shoulder, which is sitting right in here. So here we've got the, the top of the shoulder. <laughs> this bumpy part would be the point of the shoulder. Down from the shoulder, right in here, we have the shank or the forearm. This would be the fore shank. Oh. Down here, we've got the knee. We've got the cannon. This uh, joint right here would be the pastern, which is where our dew claw is located right above. And then we've got the hoof. Between the front legs here, we have the chest. This area of the goat right here would be the rib cage. Back here, this flap of skin, we've got the flank. Okay. This whole area in here, some people would consider to be the belly or the midsection. Over the top part, in a market goat, this would be considered to be a rack, where a bunch of your muscle would come from. Right in here is the loin. Here we've got the hip. In goats, we're gonna call this muscle here the thigh, or it's also sometimes called the leg. We've got the shank. We've got the hock, which is this joint right here. Again, the cannon bone, the pasture, and the dew claw, and the hoof, the same as we got. We've got our tail. The tail is one of the major ways to tell sheep and goats apart, okay? Goats are going to have a short, flexible tail that usually kind of works its way up. Sheep are going to have a longer tail or no tail in case we cut it off, and it's always going to work its way down, and it's not going to be near as flexible. Um, I'm trying to think of what other parts that I potentially have missed. On a female goat, so as we can see here, we have a ah, technical difficulty. As we can see here, we have a female goat. So we have her vulva, which is her external girl part. On a male goat, down here would be his sheath, where he urinates. And then also, if it was a male that we use for breeding, or a buck, his testicles would be right in here. Or in this case, since it's a female, we have her udder right down there where her teats are located. So those are kind of the external parts of a goat.